Welcome to Kitchen Whistle. In this video, we are going to see how to prepare Wangi Bath. It is a Karnataka special recipe. It is also called as Brinjal Rice. First, we need to prepare Wangi Bath powder. Let's see the ingredients required for this recipe. Take 2 tablespoons coriander, 50 gram of coconut. If you have dry copra, use it. 1 tablespoon uradal, 1 tablespoon chana dal, 1 teaspoon jeera or cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon poppy seeds or cuscus, half teaspoon fenugreek, 3 number cardamom, 4 number clove, 2 inch size 2 casea, 3 dried red chili. If you have Kashmiri red chili, use that. 1 teaspoon peppercorns. Dry roast all these spices until golden brown. Cool and grind it. Nowadays, the Wangi Bath powder available in shops. You can buy that. Let's see how to prepare Wangi Bath powder. Switch on the stove. Keep the pan on the stove. Dry roast all the spices. Dry roast the coconut until it becomes golden brown. Grind the dry roasted and cooled spices. Let's see the ingredients required for Wangi Bath. Take Wangi Bath powder, 2 tablespoon of oil, 1 cup of cooked rice, I took 2 tumbler of pasmati rice cooked with salt. You can also add any variety of rice. 100 gram of raw peanut, half teaspoon mustard seeds, few curry leaves, salt for taste. 1 gooseberry sized tamarind soaked in water. I took green color brinjal. Clean, cut into small pieces and keep it in water. You can also use any variety of brinjal. Let's see how to prepare wangi bath. Switch on the stove. Keep the pan on the stove. Dry roast the raw peanut. Cool it and remove the skin. In the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil. Once oil becomes hot, add mustard seeds. Add curry leaves. Add the dinjal, saute well, add the raw peanut and mix well. Now add 4 tablespoons of wangi bath powder. If you purchased ready made wangi bath powder, see the instruction in the packet. Mix well for 1 minute. Now add the tamarind water. Add enough water to cook brinjal. Add a half teaspoon of salt. Check and add salt according to your taste. Mix well. Oil is coming out and brinjal is cooked well. Add the rice and mix well. Keep the stove in same flame.
switch off the stove the tasty wangi bath is ready you can also try this recipe at your home if you like this video like share and subscribe if you have any doubt in this recipe let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching